Staying anonymous is super, super important, and that is exactly why you need to watch this video till the very end. I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to stay completely anonymous online, for free. No fluff, no time wasting, because let's be real, your data is being tracked every single day when browsing the internet, and if you're not careful, you are giving away more than you think. Websites, apps, even your own internet provider, they all collect and sell your data without you even realizing it. And the worst part? Once your personal information is out there, you can't take it back. But don't worry, I got you covered. Just watch till the very end and implement whatever I'm going to teach you in this video. Before we dive in, if you're new here, kindly hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you never miss out on my latest content. Let's get started. What we are going to do is installing Wanix operating system on a virtual machine. Don't worry this works for Windows and Mac so it doesn't matter which PC you are using. So open your browser and visit Wanix.org. Next, click on download and select the PC you are using. If yours is Mac, select Mac and download the Mac version of Wanix operating system. I'm using a Windows computer so I'm going to select Windows. Next, scroll down and click Download Wanix XFCE for VirtualBox. Now while it's downloading, we need to download and install VirtualBox in other to run the Wanix operating system. And for that, click on Download VirtualBox for Windows. If you are using Mac, make sure to download the Mac version. At this point, I'm going to wait for them to finish downloading before we can proceed. Alright, the downloads are completed and let's install them. But we first need to install the VirtualBox because we are going to use that to install the Wanix operating system to help us stay anonymous. So let's install the VirtualBox. Click Next. Accept the terms and click Next. Click Next. Choose Yes. Click Next again, and then click Install to begin the installation. We are going to start the VirtualBox right after the installation, so make sure this box is checked, and then click Finish to run the VirtualBox. Once it's open, we need to import the Wanix file, so click on Import and upload the Wanix file. Click Next to proceed. And then click Finish and agree to the terms. Let's wait while it's importing the file. Alright, it's done importing. The very first thing we are going to do is give the Wanix gateway more RAM, and then we will proceed to the configuration. And to increase the RAM of the Wanix gateway, make sure to highlight it and click on the settings. Next, click on System. Now increase the RAM to about 2 gigabytes, and that's going to be 2048 megabyte. So I'm going to apply that and click OK. The RAM has been changed. Next, let's proceed with the configuration. But before we do, let me explain how this works. After importing the Wanix file, you are going to see the Wanix gateway and the Wanix workstation. And these two work together. In simple terms, you can say the Wanix gateway work as a system unit, and the Wanix workstation serve as a monitor which make you see the interface and browse the internet. Meaning, if the Wanix gateway gets disconnected, the Wanix workstation won't work and vice versa. So we need to always turn both on. So starting from the Wanix gateway, make sure to highlight it and click Start. Now click OK and let's update the packages.
and to do that, click on the terminal icon. Next, type in this command, sudo apt-get-update, and then hit enter. Please make sure to type them correctly, and you can also find it in the description of this video so you can copy and paste them. Next, type the second command, sudo apt-get-upgrade and hit enter. Type Y and hit enter. Now the Wanix Gateway Operating System is now updating and we need to wait for it to be completed. When it's done, we will reboot it and repeat same process for the Wanix Workstation. It's now completed, let's reboot it by entering this command, sudo reboot and hitting the enter key. The Onex Gateway has been upgraded and we need to repeat same process and upgrade the Onex Workstation. So let's minimize the Onex Gateway and start the Onex Workstation. Click OK and let's proceed. Like I told you earlier, the Onex Workstation gives you the interface to browse the internet, install applications just as your PC monitor. So this is where you are going to do all your work. Now let's upgrade the packages same way we did for the Onex Gateway. We are going to click on the terminal, and then type the three commands starting with sudo apt get update. Next command is sudo apt get upgrade. Next, type y and hit enter. We're going to come back while it's updating and then I will walk you through the interesting part of staying anonymous without getting tracked using Onex. I want to introduce you to franksarena.com which is my website. I sell all kinds of marketing tools including email marketing, phone number generator, invalidator and more tools. This is my own website, so just feel at home. Now back to our configuration which is now completed. Next, let's reboot it by typing sudo reboot as the command. It's rebooting, and we just have to wait then we proceed. Alright, so this is the interface and this is where you're going to use to browse the internet and all that. We are going to test it out, but as I already explained, this interface you see is the Onex workstation and it works hand in hand with the Onex gateway. As already mentioned, both the gateway and the interface needs to be turned on. If I hover on the application, you could see that the Onex gateway is also running and we don't do anything on the Onex gateway. Once you turn it on, you just minimize and then you use the workstation. We've now completed the setup and everything. Now let's test it out and then I will show you why this makes you stay anonymous. Now let's open the browser and test it out. And to do that, click on the application's icon and select web browser. Now let's check the IP address and after that I will show you why you can stay anonymous using Onex. To check the IP address, visit war.net. Now you can see that my IP address is located in Poland. So anytime you close the browser and open it again, you are going to get a new IP address in a different location. Also, the internet works so you can browse any website with it. So I'm going to visit my website, which is franksarena.com, to test it out. So as you can see, the internet works perfectly. Now I'm going to close the browser and open it again, and then we check the IP address. I'm going to visit war.net to check the IP address. This time around, my IP location is Sweden, but the first one was in Poland. Again, I'm going to close the browser and open it again.
As you can see, the location is now in Germany. So what this means is that it's going to be hard to get tracked because you are not going to have just one IP address or location. Your location will keep changing any time you open the browser. I hope you get the idea now. This is one of the methods to stay anonymous on the internet. But before we wrap up, I just you to understand that, after you're done using it, make sure to turn it off both the gateway and the workstation using the virtual box. And then anytime you want to use it, make sure to turn on both the Wanix gateway and the workstation to work correctly. At this point I believe you've gotten much clarification and you found this helpful. Kindly like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed watching. Visit my website francerina.com for your marketing tools. I will see you in my upcoming video.